The teenager now faces a capital murder charge after Dallas police say he shot and killed the 59-year-old PR executive during an attempted carjacking. Vegas, the god of clumping, <laughs> has arrived! Follow Johnny Vegas. That is meant! <laughs> on an unusual passion project. I'm going to buy old buses and I'm going to glamp them out. With his best mate and assistant, Bev. You want me to go back and get you wellies? No, Bev, because we're equals. <laughs> but as the odds stack up against him... Sit down, tell yourself. No. Oh, that's devastating. Will he give up on his dream? I have ideas and I have ambition. Or will he surprise everyone? I can't wait to show people what I'm actually capable of. It's beautiful. Johnny Vegas, carry on glamping. Reginald Potts and Damien Weedfall broke into her car and stole her property just before being arrested by officers. Police say Potts and Weedfall are believed to be involved in numerous other bank jugging crimes, and turns out they're no strangers to the law. They have a laundry list of priors and mugshots for everything from assault causing bodily injury to burglary of a habitation and theft. And this is something that's going on a lot now where women get out, leave their purse in the car, the bad guys see that she's not carrying anything, so where is the purse? It has to be in the car. From the video, he looks to be no more than 30. I would say early to mid-20s. Uh, he's got that distinctive little uh, pointed beard. Judge Dennis Simple making it clear to 17-year-old Jermario Gregory that attempted carjackings like this one last May cannot keep happening. Surveillance cameras captured the terrifying moments at the BP gas station on Plankinton and St. Paul. The car's owner, Melissa Smith, clinging to the hood as Gregory drove off. She couldn't be here for the sentencing, but the prosecutor summarized the horror she still endures. Gregory pled guilty to charges of attempted robbery and recklessly endangering safety. He also faced a charge for a burglary that happened two days later. I'm sorry for all the people that I ever hurt. My family, the most important, my victims.